As I try to sleep and my mind won't shut up, maybe getting it down in a recorded fashion would help. So one of the things that's running through my head is YouTube, essentially. YouTube could be a much bigger explosion of a new kind of social movement in line with what I am proposing and what I am exploring is that using a one-stop shop, you know, a one channel that unites all aspects of yourself together, all different content types, long form, short form, um, different ways of recording it, different types of content to reflect all the different aspects of your life, all the different, and I overuse the word aspects, I realize, but I am not just my thoughts, and I'm not just a dancer, and I'm not just a skater, and I'm not just a good cook, and I'm not just, you know, not just anything. I'm everything. I am me. And the more that I explore me as a whole and want to share, you know, marvelous moments throughout my whole life and what I simply observe in nature and in other people, I want to share all that because I think there's great value in everything. So in the process of kind of doing a 180 and just flipping the script and just going further into my discomforts and being brave and just kind of going all in, you know, all the chips are in. If I was to do this, then I don't know how to put it in words, but there's a feeling that it might bring a complete resurgence. Not that YouTube needs a resurgence, but YouTube fundamentally could be about you, Tube, right? So everyone gets on this journey for themselves. They start a channel, they have their name. It's not a channel per content type or per audience. And it's not based on metrics and it's not based on what the algorithms say works and what doesn't work. We are making the rules. The point is so many things that hold us back. And one of the things for me definitely holds me back is process. If something is difficult to do, if something is a ball ache, if something is a headache, if something makes me want, uh, makes me have to jump through so many hoops then it never gets done and I just like shrink up and I want to pull my hair out and scream right so I need one place to just put all my stuff and be able to both have it effective and easy and free and so I can just keep doing what I'm doing keep enjoying it and not have any pressure in terms of um, people telling you what does and doesn't work following all these, you know, analytical, whatever. I don't, I don't like that. I kind of geek out on a bit of it because I, I feel like, oh, it's useful information to know. But with, at the end of the day, if it comes to me being a content producer of my own life, of my own ideas, it needs to be completely easy. It needs to be one place, ideally. And I like ideally. So I'm going to lean towards this, this ideally. And if, uh, if, 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 if. If it creates momentum in your life and it's of value 
and then you decide to do it yourself um, and other people around you decide to do it themselves and then boom 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 then YouTube could mean so much more it could bring back vlogging it could bring forth your own channel and I don't know if the processes have it down quite yet so far people say that for different content types you need to have a new channel and you need to um, have a new profile and you know separate everything and I don't I don't like that whether I agree or don't agree I don't I don't care I don't want that I want ease of use and so I want to force the platforms to accommodate what I want and so I am happy to separate out content types on the one channel under my name so there's no mask and um, I'm happy to separate out content type in terms of um, like putting it in an album or putting it under a certain hashtag or I don't know like you know YouTube should figure it out these platforms should figure it out but uh, if there's enough people who say oh I want to do it like this I want to record and then upload and then done I don't even have to want to bother with descriptions and you know hashtags and all these add-ons and whatnot it just needs to be record something cool put it out there onto the next one and just keep doing that as painless as possible the path of least resistance that's the key to good user experience and create win-win situations you know actually have it monetized actually have it perform well actually have viewers and engaged audience and then you know everyone's patting themselves on the back and encouraging themselves to to keep doing it keep being themselves and I think we need that we really need that so now that I've got it off my chest hopefully I can sleep good night